In this Jenkins tutorial, we're going to start by knowing what is Jenkins. And then we'll download and install Jenkins. I will show you how to secure Jenkins and how to add Jenkins user. So let us start first by knowing what is Jenkins. Jenkins is one of the tools for continuous integration and deployment. You can use Jenkins for repetitive tasks and even for scheduled jobs. So first let us start now and download and install Jenkins on Linux. In this tutorial, I'll be installing Jenkins on Red Hat 7, but the steps can be applied on other versions and Linux flavors too. So Jenkins is Java based. So you have to install Java and be sure that nothing is using 8080 port in case you will be using it for Jenkins. In case that Java is not installed, let us start by installing Java. So first I'm gonna do yum install Java. And after installing the Java, I'm gonna add the path to the environment. Now how to know the path of the Java itself? If we use which Java, it's gonna show that link. But you cannot add that link because if you're gonna check the path, then it's gonna find it like it's a sim link. It's like a shortcut to that link. So you cannot use this one. So how can we know the, the root link, like the origin, where it's come from? Usually I, I use that command to know where is the root of the Java. So I use read link and then I put that command which job. Then you're gonna find that URL. You need to take it till bin, don't take the executable file, which is Java, and then add this to your environments. So after that, I'm going to put export Java in capital, home equal, and between quotations, just we put the path. And then we save the file. And to test that everything is okay, we can use Java minus version. Okay, so it's now it's running. Now let us start and install Jenkins. You have to go to Jenkins website and from there you can find the repo that you need to download. But anyways, it's going to be the same like the one I'll be sharing right now. And in general, always use the LTS version, which is the long term support version. So we have to use get to you to download the repo in case you don't have wget then you need to install it like what happened here so i'm going to install wget now i'm going to run it again okay it's downloaded and then you need to download the key of jenkins Now we have the repo of Jenkins, so we can proceed by installing Jenkins using yum install Jenkins. Now after installing Jenkins, you need to start the service. In case you are using an earlier version of the Red Hat, then it's going to be service Jenkins start. Okay, it did not give any errors. You can check the status. And it's running fine. So let us go now and check it. So you can use the local host or use your IP address.
So since Jenkins is using port 8080, we're gonna put the IP or the local host and then you put the port, it's 8080. The first time you run Jenkins, it's gonna give you a path which uh, gonna have the first password to use. So let us go to that path and check the password. So this is the password. I'm gonna copy it and then paste it here. The first time you will log in, you will have a first time a wizard which will ask you for installing suggested plugins or use your own. If you are not familiar with Jenkins or it's your first time or if it's if we are using it for testing, then I suggest that you can go and install the suggested plugins. The plugins are generally an additional they add additional features to Jenkins, like you can use Ant, you can use Maven, you can use the SSH, you can use S SVN, GitHub, whatever for Jenkins. Okay, so now the wizard is done and all the installation of the plugins are done. So we're going to start by adding our first username, which we're going to use for administration purpose. So I'm going to use Dotsway. I'm going to put my password okay so now we are logged in first of all we have to know how to secure Jenkins to secure Jenkins go and log in to your console then go to manage Jenkins and then go to the global security settings and from there you have to confirm the following you have to confirm that this checkbox is enabled that you are enabling the security second you have to use the Jenkins own user database this one and also be sure that you uncheck the allow user to sign up this one and after that you need to save and apply everything now I'm going to show you how to add user to Jenkins so first we will start by selecting manage Jenkins and the, you want to go all the way down to manage users and then remember that we created the first user and we called it dotsway you never you don't want to log out before having all the permissions for dotsway or else you will be locked out so let us start by creating another user and we're going to call it maybe dotsway2 Now we have two users and we want to put some permissions and privileges for Dotsway2 and again for Dotsway1. Don't ever log out from the uh, Jenkins console without having the first time the permissions for Dotsway, the admin user. So we go to, to the dashboard and then manage Jenkins and then you choose, you select configure global security. And from there you go all the way down to authorization and choose matrix based security. And we're gonna start by having Dotsway, the admin user, we're gonna add it. And we're gonna have give him all the overall administration permissions. Now we want to add another user. We added Dotsway2. What if we add by mistake Dotsway1? It's going to show us that this user is not there. Okay, 
so we're gonna add dots way to and we give dots way to like overall read and then we apply and save so now we have two users so in this tutorial we've learned what is Jenkins how to install Jenkins and how to secure the system and how to add users until we meet again bye